Atmospheric stability is described using the Pasquale stability classes, one of six letters from A to F, kind of like letter grades, where A is very unstable conditions, which you might see on a very sunny sun, summer day, to F, which is really very stable, which corresponds to a clear night. One class to make note of is D, which is neutral conditions, and that is a cloudy day or night. You can determine the stability class based on the current wind speed and amount of solar radiation. This table shows the wind velocity at 10 meters in the left column, and then it shows whether it's daytime or nighttime. During the daytime, you have strong, moderate, or slight solar radiation. During nighttime, it's either cloudy or clear. On the next slide, I'll show you what the definitions are of strong, moderate, and slight solar radiation. Note that um, you would assume class D, neutral conditions, for overcast or cloudy conditions, day or night. The solar radiation is defined to be strong if it's a clear summer day and the sun is more than 60 degrees above the horizon. It's moderate on a summer day with broken clouds or a clear day with the sun at a more moderate angle. It would be slight on a fall afternoon or a cloudy summer day, or maybe a clear summer day with sun at a low angle, like at the beginning or end of the day. Going back to this table, think about what the current atmospheric stability class is. So I'm looking outside, it's a winter day, the wind is really calm, so it's probably less than two meters per second. It's late in the afternoon, so our solar radiation is probably slight, given that combination of wind speed and solar radiation, um, I'd estimate that our stability class is B, which is moderately unstable. 